Add the new one, but it's okay. I mean, that's the big question we have in the video everyone. Right? Okay, sorry if you didn't get it. Bummer dude. Alright. Ah! B. <laughs> On what interval is the particle moving to the left? Right? And then show your analysis and justify your answer. So, here's the equation. This is the V of T. Yes? Huh? What? We didn't. Oh, we didn't? Oh, thank you. Let me go back to A. So, on A... We had just found V of 3, so we have plugged that in, and we are about to find V prime of 3. So plug in 3. So plug in 3. So 7 squared plus 5. Okay, I was like, is it 7? Times 2 times 7. So 49 plus 70. And 19. And what would the units be for? Inches per meter square. Yep. <laughs> so now we're going to describe the speed. So is the speed of the particle uh, increasing or decreasing? Think about Ashley. It's what? Yes. Ashley's going at this speed. Mm -hmm. I push her in the same direction at this speed. So she's going to go faster. Okay. She's increasing. They're both positive. Is that a multiple? Okay. So right. it says t plus 2. Is it times 2 or just the t plus 2? Right here? No. Past that, the 2 behind it. Oh, that's times. What did we say v uh, prime? V prime of three, like what that is. It's 119 for? inches. Acceleration. Per... It's acceleration. And yeah. V of three is just velocity. Right. Because okay. when you take the derivative of velocity, it's acceleration. So the V prime of three is T double prime of T. Yes. It's, yep. What is, do we know what V double prime of three is? That's no. Oh, that would be you don't need enough. to. No. Thank you, because I totally forgot that I learned that other stuff. So what interval is the particle moving to the left? Negative. So that's when it's negative. So we have V of T. When it's velocity T. Oh, okay. T plus T. T plus 4. Yeah. Then the negative. Okay. So I know that that equals zero when t equals negative two and when t equals negative four. Well, this is only for when t is greater than or equal to zero. And that's because it's time. You can't have a negative time, right? So it's decreasing rather than negative. So we're only going to go from zero up. Mm -hmm. so, this is zero. So if I plug in anything that's greater than zero, like one, what does that do here? It works. It, what is it? Positive it's or negative? Positive. Positive. Yeah, that's so it's never negative. So it's never going to the left. Right. So V of T. Trick question. Yeah, kind of. Give me a grasp. Velocity is always positive for this problem. I was going to say, didn't we just say it to begin with? So, it will never. Always be 
Oh. 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 Yeah, he tends to do that every day now. I mean, at least you're not like Mr. Burglar who got through his iPad and his keys. You're his cousin, Ashley. We don't know why. Ashley's happens. not paying attention. She's texting. We were allowed to have phones in his class. And Ashley said it right in front of him, so. No, she can get away with it. I'm going to right now. I don't think it's right now. I don't know. But it was not me, it was Danny. Yep. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I think it's both of us because honestly, every time oh, the teacher never works, the teacher goes to the same yeah. classroom. It might be just be the I assumed then. just because you were talking that you were done. Hey, guess what? You called me out for texting and I done finished my work. Thanks. And I just called him out for talking. You're welcome. Yeah. My kids are done. I finished mine. I finished mine as well. Yeah. My shoes right. are so muddy. I need to wash mine. Okay, so this is an example. Of a free response question from 1998. Oh, yes. They had AP classes. <laughs> there was AP classes when you went there. I don't know, because my mom never took one. She was like, I never took AP, but like only because they didn't have it in my little video school. Okay, so the graph of the velocity, V of T, in feet per second of a car traveling on a straight road for 0 to 50 is shown below. And then a table of values at 5 second intervals of time is also shown. Alright, A. During what interval or intervals of time is the acceleration of the car positive? Look at that slope from 15 to 25. Is that going to look good? Where's 50 at? Hold on. Okay. So how can we tell when the acceleration is positive? I thought it was whenever the graph What did you say when? It's increasing. What's increasing? The velocity. The velocity. What did you say? I thought it was whenever that is velocity. the graph is positive. No, you're thinking if... Uh, you're thinking, going. you're kind of going backwards. You're thinking if you have velocity, then how do you tell when position is positive? Okay. This is, you have velocity and you're going one more to acceleration. So that's a derivative. From velocity to acceleration is the derivative, right? Mm -hmm. And how, what is the derivative of something in a picture? The slope. The slope. I said so, slope. I know. She did say slope. I know. That's what you all were saying. I'm just getting you there. I'm sorry, Ashley. So, so it's where the slope is what, Ashley? Positive. So, where is the slope positive? All of it. No. Oh, besides 40 and 45. Yeah, so 0 to 35. So, up to there, not including there. And then? 35 to 45. I mean, it's positive. 45. I said it was negative, I didn't say it was positive. Okay, so we want positive, so yes, 45 to 50. You're right. I said negative. She was looking at you like, I said negative. No, it's the fastest. So what interval is it positive? Um, it's positive.